Good afternoon, welcome to Nile College BBC News School Report 2012. Our lead story today is regarding Sir Michael Wilshaw's comment this morning about the poor levels of literacy in England. Mr Wilshaw states that the standard of literacy have stalled since 2005. We go across now to Jade in Studio 2 with Pat Windass, the Reading Initiative Coordinator at Norham, to find out her opinion on this issue. Welcome Ms Windass, thank you for joining us. Hi Jade, thanks for inviting me. Do you think the lead inspector has a point that standards of literacy in England needs looking at? Well yes, we've been aware of this for a while at Norham and we've worked to address this for the last seven years. In a speech today he is calling for literacy targets to be raised for 11 year old pupils. Is this really going to make a difference? Yes, because literacy skills affect GCSE results. They also determine life chances and raise self-esteem. Literacy allows us all to communicate effectively in every area of life. Literacy is a key point at Norham. What do we do to raise the standards of literacy in our school? On entry, literacy standards are assessed. Many key stage three students receive daily literacy sessions in the reading initiative. In Key Stage 4, we continue to develop literacy for examinations by targeted intervention at all levels of ability. So it seems that Naran has been working for years to improve the standards of literacy. Maybe we are just one step ahead. Thanks for joining us back in the main studio. Thanks for that. As levels of literacy directly affect across the English curriculum, we caught up with Louise Gibson, Head of English at Naran. She agreed with Wilshaw, commenting on particularly the impact technology and social networking has had on young people's use of languages. She feels that this has had a big impact on basic literacy skills. She also said that the need to use handwriting is decreasing in society and this is bound to affect people's ability to have good written literacy. Moving on now, our next item is a rather interesting one. Yes, as you know, this year the Olympic Games is being held in the UK. The good news is that there are 75,000 spare tickets to see the Olympic events. However, there's some bad news. Only young people from London get this opportunity to get these tickets. Which is great for young people in London, but not so great for us who live elsewhere. One in eight London students will get the chance to see the Olympics, but we won't. Let's go back to some reactions to the story. Liz, can I ask you a question about the Olympic Games, please? Of course. Since you're from down south, there is 75,000 tickets spare for the Olympics. What is your opinion on London school students getting a chance to see the Olympic Games and the North East getting left out? Um, I do think that it's a fantastic opportunity for students to get involved no matter where they're from. So I think that that's fantastic that those students in London are going to get to, to do that. However, I do think it's slightly unfair that just because we're so far away in the North East, students here aren't going to get the opportunity to go and be a part of that. I think that it would be amazing to be involved and support the country in that way. Um, and also a really good opportunity just to get down to London, see what it's all about, make links for the future, universities, colleges, jobs, and just to be a part of something really fantastic. Come in. Can I ask you a question about the Olympics, please? Yeah, can. What's up? Is it a history one about the Olympics? Um, no. But um, there's, there is like 75,000 spare tickets like for the Olympic Games and um, some London students are actually getting an opportunity to go to a, to one of the games. Games, huh? And um, the, the um, North East is getting left out. What's your opinion on that? Well, it's a bit unfair, really, isn't it? It's once in a lifetime opportunity for everybody yeah. in this country. So for 75,000 spare tickets, I would like one of them. It doesn't really matter which event, I just think it should be, it's the London Games, I understand that, but it's a country-wide thing, and I mean there's events all over the country, so they shouldn't just, you know, there should be other people having opportunities to get a chance as well. Yeah, thank you for your time. Oh, no problem. Sir, so, can I ask you a question? Yes. Um, there's 75,000 spare tickets for the, Olympic, for the Olympic Games, and um, most um, London students are actually getting an opportunity to go to the Olympic Games, mm -hmm. but the North East is getting left out. What's your opinion? Well, I think that's pretty bad considering that people in the North East are already struggling to see any of the benefits of the Olympic Games exactly. in 2012, yeah. despite the fact that the investment being a national one. So I think that's pretty bad. It should be widespread, fair, and everyone should get the opportunity. Definitely. Okay, yeah. Thank you for your time. No problem, thank you for your question. Bye. 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 Wait, what are you just I think it's unfair because London get all opportunities. 
I think it's really unfair because because people in Nona get more opportun opportunities. Hello. So I can ask you a question about the Olympic Games, please. Yeah. And um, there's like seventy-five thousand spare tickets for the Olympic Games, and then um, only London students are getting an opportunity to go to a game, and the North East is getting left out. What's your opinion on that? Well. My opinion is that it's the UK that is holding the Olympic Games, not just London. I know London are funding quite a lot of it, but as always, the North East gets left out of a lot of things. We don't have half as much money spent on us as London do, so I think it's completely unfair that we are being left out again. What do you think, Alan? Well, the games all come up here, aren't they? Same yeah, there's some football matches coming up here. So why can't we have some tickets? We're hosting some of the football games up here. So we think we should be invited, don't we? Thank you for your time. No worries. Bye. I think it's really unfair how only tickets are going out to people in London because, well, we're part of Great Britain too and it should be going to other counties. Um, I'd lo love to go to the Olympics as that's a once in a lifetime opportunity for coming to Britain. I agree with Caldine and everybody should be given a fair opportunity because we're all equal and we are part of the Olympics too and we like, had a say in what was going on. I mean, I know it's a bit far to travel but it's British Olympics, we should be allowed to. Admittedly the tickets are free but the cost of the travel would be expensive. To be honest, I don't even really care because the Olympics are boring. I think it's hardly fair because it's a national event held in London, so the tickets are only going out to London. Thank you. Now it's time for our regional news. The Mouth of the Time Festival will return this year at Time Mouth with its eighth annual festival. Four days of live music and thousands of people from local area and beyond. Two of Britain's biggest pop bands, McFly and The Wanted, will play special outdoor evening shows in the stunning settings of Time Off Priory and Castle on Friday the 13th and Saturday the 14th of July. On Sunday, 80s pop band Heaven 17 will headline the afternoon concert, supported by South, originally the Beautiful South, who had 10 studio albums. Tickets cost up to £25 and are already on sale. Check Mouth of the Time website for all the details. Now it's time for our final story, which has been making the headlines for years. Let's find out more. The Grand National is fast approaching, but unfortunately, the amount of horses that have died will again grab the headlines after a horrific few days at Cheltenham Racecourse. Five horses have died at this year's festival in the first two days. The Royals, Zara Phillips and Camilla Duchess of Cornwall, were horrified on Wednesday as they watched a horse plough through the railings and into the crowd. Campaigners will again be seeking to the tighter restrictions in horse racing as they did with the lowering of fences at the Grand Na National. We are sure the debate of animals in sport will continue to divide the public opinion. That's it from Norman, BBC News, School Report 2012. We hope you have enjoyed our show. Join us next year. Goodbye.